Yo everybody, in this episode we're going to become more familiar with the GUI of Ubuntu. So we're going to learn some tips and tricks on how to work with the operating system. I know many of you watching are probably interested in the commands, which those are going to be coming very soon. So to start, let's go over to my virtual machine. Boom! And we're not going to be using the terminal in this video quite yet. Alright, so we're going to talk about the basics. You know, because if you're starting with this operating system first time, even some of the most simple things can be challenging. So we have 10 little tips and tricks that might make your life a whole lot easier. The first one is how do you actually turn off the computer or restart? Well, it's with this little power button up here and then power off slash log out. And then you can select power off and then you can choose to restart or power off. Simple as that. So that's the first one, pretty simple. The next is settings. So we want to enable dark mode, obviously. So we'll go to the settings, and then on the left side, appearance, and you can choose light, standard, or dark. I'm gonna go with dark. The third thing I wanna show you is how to prevent the display from shutting off, which I just like my screens on all the time. So this is actually in power, blank screen I set mine to never now tip number four is how to open applications pretty simple you just go over down here to these little square dot things and open up all the different applications and you can select any from here such as discs so when there's something you're going to be using a lot what you can do is you can set it as a favorite so you can actually search in here for example the terminal you can right click add to favorites and what that's going to do is I'm just hitting escape to get out of that. You can see it now shows up over here on the side. Even if it's not open, it's there to open. So that works similar to Mac where you can have these different applications even if they're not open. So the little dot below us says that it's open. Same thing with Ubuntu. So we can open that terminal and there's a little dot there saying that it's open. Tip number five is to change the update settings, which is just something I like to do. So I'm going to go to the applications and I'm going to search updates and we're going to go with software and updates. Then select updates and here you can customize your update settings. So for example, if you never want to check for updates, you can just do that. Type in your password and you're good to go. Now I want to talk about how to work with disks. So I'm going to close out of that, open up our applications. Then you can search disks or you can find it right here. And this is important, especially if you are running Ubuntu directly on a computer and you want to see different USB sticks or hard drives. This is where they're going to show up. So this little square here, this is saying it's already mounted. So if you want to unmount it, you can select that. When you put in a hard drive, it might not mount automatically and you have to open up this disk app and mount it manually using a little play sign. You can also get information about the file system type. In this case, it's FAT, FAT. Next up, I wanna show you how to view the files from the root directory. So you can go into this file system and this is the root directory, which basically is the source of all folders. All folders are inside computer. So another way you can find that is from the left here, you can click other locations and then computer. So sometimes when you're given a path to a file, it might not be in your user directory, which is in this home folder. For example, it might not be in downloads. It might be something like forward slash dev. In that situation, you would go to other locations, computer, and then find that dev folder. And there you go. So that's how you find all files. Next up, I want to talk about how to take a photo. Just why not? Let's just do that just for fun. So we'll open up applications. And from here you can type cheese and this is the camera app so you can go in here and hey there i am ah be sure to subscribe next up i want to talk about how to edit text so this is pretty important the application you're going to use actually has a much more descriptive name text editor and you can open this and here's where you can write documents or open already existing documents. You can also download other applications off the internet such as Visual Studio Code. And the last thing, which I already showed you, number 10 is how to open the terminal. Well, you can always just right click and open in terminal. And there you go. You can do that from pretty much any folder. So if we have some folder open, let's say downloads, you can right click, open in terminal 
and it'll be in that path. So you can think of the terminal as just a different way of navigating these folders. And in the context of Linux and the terminal, they'll often be called directories. So you can navigate through the different directories. So you can do the same thing visually as you can in the terminal, but it's often good to know a little bit about the GUI if you're working with visual things such as photos or videos. Well, it's kind of hard to do that in the terminal. So it's good to know a little bit about both. For those of you who've used Ubuntu, this video is probably stupidly simple. But for those of you who are brand new, these are all like the little things that you don't have to worry about. You just want to know how to do them. So. Hopefully that got you up to speed with the GUI. In the next episode, we're going to start learning some of the commands. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>